a two nothing lead at home is something you don't want to uh, give up with the, what happened the second half of the game. Uh, you know, I thought they just uh, they just started winning those battles. I thought they they played harder and pressured the puck better in the uh, second half of the game, and definitely took over the second period. And, um, we didn't have an answer for it. I, I thought we played a, a hard, simple first period, skated, got pucks behind their D, which was our game plan, and um, you know just got away from that. And I think a frustration crept in a little bit because we weren't able to credit to them. They they did a better job putting pressure on us. But when things went bad, we couldn't uh, uh, get it back in the sense where we, we 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 got the momentum back and were able to get pucks in behind and get get some sustained pressure very much in the second half of the game at all. It seemed like those back to back penalties really kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And they're, you know, both penalties from the backside. Um, you know, the Cicelo one, you, you saw wrapped up with him. He's just got to give him a push there and keep moving his feet. I mean, um, the guys eventually got to turn and try and make a play. And, and I didn't see the parse one. Uh, the stick comes out of the hand. But it's, again, it's tough taking. You hate taking those penalties from the back side of guys, um, whether they're on the back check or, in Sissel's case, the penalty kill where you're reaching. And I thought, you know, I thought their game, they did that better than us the second half of the game, and we did a little bit too much reaching and, and stopped skating. What was your view of the, uh, the winning goal? Was that, was that puck fluttering? Uh, I, I got a look at it. It, it uh, I think he kind of came in and cut across, and I don't know if Keith would have lost it or not, and it kind of a moving screen by Urbaum, I guess, just from the angle of the bench. But it, he just, it, you know, looked like a routine grounder almost, and he and he just totally, he totally missed it. So I'll have to take a look at it. I'm not sure what happened on it. We've uh, talked about uh, trying to play better at home. Uh, you seem like you came out all, came out all right, but it's still still going to be an issue. With the... Yeah, I mean, I, I thought our start was good. Uh, you know, we had urgency. I thought, you know, that period just flew by. There was there was good pace to it, and I, I thought, you know, again, the second period they. You know, they they put a little more pressure on us and, and disrupted us coming out of our end and through the neutral zone. And again, you got to find a different way to get around. I thought we, you know, kept bringing the puck back and and then uh, weren't chipping pucks behind them. And 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 to their credit, uh, they 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 stuck with it. And we just we just didn't have an answer for it. We didn't shoot the puck enough when we did get in zone. We were looking. Um, I think we may have may have had three chances. Um, in the third period, five on five, and you know we, we I think we got a little frustrated um, and, and tried to look for that that perfect play as opposed to just throwing pucks on net and, and crashing.